What's up, motherfuckers? It's DJ Sketch. <clears throat> Got another video here. Some gameplay on Meltdown. It's like a 29 for 8. Well, that's not really the main point of this little video now, is it? I guess uh, for the subscriber I do have. Thanks, Sean Seigel. So wanted to put a quick video together Bad talking agents. about uh, some Black Ops contact. 3 news. As if everybody didn't know all this shit already. But, you know the deal. Gotta put some kind of content in these fucking videos now, don't I? But uh, this t the hype train, it's in full steam ahead. Everybody's either got their positive opinions or negative ones. So far, it's been kind of right down the middle. And uh, it's been all over YouTube, all over Twitch. Talking about like I guess that and a lot of uh, other like videos that have can released since the press conference last month. So far, like I really don't have anything negative to say about the games just yet because also I haven't played it. So I really, I really would be, really wouldn't make a whole lot of sense to assess it at this, at this juncture, you know, just because I don't have any real experience behind it. So I'm not really going to speak on that just yet, it's like I'll wait till the beta comes out, but as far as I've seen, it looks just like Black Ops 2, a little more polished, but also with all the EXO movement, all of that stuff, you know. Hopefully it won't be as bad as the Advanced Warfare. Hopefully there'll at least be like ways you could uh, have choke routes on the maps, and it's not just a clusterfuck of people shooting you from every fucking direction. Because that would not be that fun. And I would hope they would have gotten the hint after how badly Advanced Warfare and Ghost flopped, even though they're both two completely different games. Because hopefully they will pay attention to what people did and didn't like about that. I hope they'll actually listen to the people that play this and not just the pro players, even though they're pretty much sick of this game too. Even though this series, it looks like it's on death's door, and if it's three strikes in a row, I think we already know what the out outcome of that's going to be. But so far, it seems to be a lot of really positive impressions thus far. And that's a good thing. Great. Way to go, Activision. Way to go, Treyarch. Good job. And also hot on the heels of Comic Con, they actually revealed the Zombies trailer, and this actually looks fairly interesting, because you know, like they typically don't have this much cinematic value or right out of the gate as this one has shown so far. I mean, you have some crazy fucking Hydra monster like just in the trailer with this thing, and again, everything looks extremely bright. The graphics look. It looks good for a video for a trailer, you know. Can't really say too much bad about that, but then again, we'll see what the actual gameplay itself looks like. Even though they showed some of it, but again, I want to actually see some actual gameplay footage, not something that was already put together with a different engineer. Who knows what? I don't know. Just talking a bunch of shit right now, fucking rambling. You know how these videos go. But yeah, but oh man, that and you can the rage in this video was so real. These kids were getting so, so made. <laughs> it was actually quite entertaining getting this gameplay. And also with the PDW, I can usually never hold a game down since all the nerfs and gun balancing things they've done to this in the past, but it seems like even with a silencer, it's right back where it used to be, because, man, it was going too ham on those motherfuckers, man. Just, oof, two-piece. Fuck with me, but double. What's up, Shalons? But also, there's a even funnier news about Black Ops 3 at the moment. There's actually a special edition Juggernog edition. We actually get a little Juggernog fridge. It does all this, uh, has all these crazy little beepity bops and all types of other shit on it. And you know, like for 200 bucks, may, that that sort of makes sense. And, you know, that's like a little bonus thing you could get. That sounds all fine and good. But if you happen to jump over to eBay. You'll see this thing fucking getting auctioned for about fourteen thousand dollars and climbing. That's fucking insane. Like, why anybody would really want to pay that much for a fridge? No fucking idea. But also, if the return on a two hundred dollar investment's already fucking like multiplied like that, you know, maybe it's maybe maybe it's worth picking up just in order to flip it. Shit, get a few of them. Make yourself a little fucking quarter mil real quick if you get enough. But that, I'm not quite, I don't really quite understand what it makes this thing so great, but maybe I should just do some research on it and see exactly what this thing is capable of. Because if it's fetching that kind of price, it must do something pretty fucking crazy. And that was really all I've heard so far, as far as like the whole like release notes. That seems to be like the biggest topic as far as like the Black Ops 3 upcoming release is this little juggernaut fridge, which is, I find that pretty funny. 
But also the fact that they came out right after the zombies reveal. Hmm. Coincidence? I think not. But I don't know. I guess maybe. I guess if you have anything to say, like leave it down in the comments. If you're watching this video, like tell me what your thoughts on Black Ops 3 are. If you even care about that game anymore. Cause most people kind of gave up on Call of Duty when Destiny came out last year, even though it's put out by the same company. I'm looking at you, Activision, and they've already kind of figured out how to make a cash cow out of a game that was released unopposed to anything else. I, I kind of realized yesterday. So if that happens. I guess it makes it a whole lot easier to stay on top, but since the, it's getting close to the Christmas season, especially in November, a lot of things are coming up. You got this game, I believe the new Fallout's also coming out around the same time, and also the thing, I think it's the main thing everybody's waiting for is a Star Wars Battlefront, because unless they fuck it up the same way they did with the Battlefield Hardline, like as bad of a launch as they did with Battlefield 4, that could potentially be the fucking hottest thing smoking the fucking Battlefront, man. So we'll see. I mean, that's it's all see. It's already July, 2015 has flown by at an alarming rate. But you know, that's kind of a good thing. You know, because there are parts of this year that have been great, especially gaming wise, and also there's been part of these parts of this year already that have been a severe letdown. And you know, hopefully we can end this end the year on a high note instead of this mediocre shite that I've been seeing so far. So. Who knows? I like to be surprised. I would very much like to be surprised. Ooh, get shit on, motherfucker. <laughs> but also, again, just want to thank you every guys for coming back and checking out the videos. If you want to throw a like on it, go for it. If you want to subscribe, go for it. You know, <clears throat> every little bit counts. And hopefully we can bring Fuck That Fridays back sometime soon. So I do have some videos I want to work on so we can get more of those out there because those were pretty I guess the one popular one that I've done so far. People seem to like that one a lot so I'll try to get something very appropriate to cover for that video but uh, until then just wanted to say thanks again take it easy it's DJ Sketch I'm out. It's DJ